or an SD card, and then copy it on your computer, and then burn it to DVD-R disk, and then play that on your Nintendo Wii. Now, unfortunately, this only works on older Wii. You can go to WiiDrive.com and use your Wii serial number to see if your Wii is compatible. If not, then you may have to install a mod chip or do a hardware modification. So, you'll also need the homebrew channel on a hacked Wii. If you don't already have that, then you can check out my uh, other video and then come back to this one when you're done. First, you can follow the link in the video description and download Clean Rip. Just click download. And be sure to download the version for Wii and not the version for GameCube. And when it's done, you can right click and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. And insert your SD card in your computer. And then go to my computer. It's your SD card. And then copy the apps folder to the SD card. And then remove the SD card and insert it in your way. Then go to the Humbrew channel. Then go to Clean Rip and load it. Then, all right, you can read the disclaimer and press A to continue and select your device type and use an USB and select your file system type and use an FAT32 then connect your hard drive to your Wii and press A to continue and then this is optional so I'd select no then insert your Wii disk. I'm using Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Then press A to continue. Then you can plus, press left or right to change from dual layer. I'd recommend you change the chunk size to max and change the new device per chunk to no. Then press A to continue. And this normally takes a while, but I've sped up the video clip. And then when it's done, you can remove your external hard drive and connect it to your computer. And if you have a WBFS partition, do not format it. And then open your external hard drive. And then on the root, there should be an ISO image of the Wii game you extracted. Just copy it to your desktop. Insert the DVD R disk. Then you can burn the ISO with image burn, which you can download from the video description. And then you can select the drive you're going to use to burn and choose to verify it. And then you can burn it at 3x and then click right. 
This normally takes a while, but I've also sped it up. And when it's done, you can press OK. And then remove the DVD-R and insert it into your Wii. And then if you install Dark Corps, you'll be able to play the this channel. Or you can also play it using Neo Gamma. You can also use Neo Gamma to play games from your USB device. You can launch the DVD game. And there you go, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Classic mode.